This is Ryan, Ebony, Emily, and I'm Rachel, and we're going to be talking about the marginalisation of students with a disability in schools. According to the ABS, there are approximately 7% of students in Australian secondary high schools that have a form of disability that places a physical limitation on them. The UN Convention on the Rights of Students with Disability states that all students have the right to be included in physical activity and should not be excluded based on their limitations. It was in a PDHP context, there are many instances where this may occur and so it is our role as teachers to ensure that this does not happen in our classroom. Physically disabled students have the stereotype that they are unable to fully participate in physical activity. The game Seated Newcomb Ball has been developed and adapted so that this stereotype is challenged. This is done through game modifications by inclusive strategies and also raising awareness of the power imbalances and inequality in society. The purpose of this resource is to address social justice issues of marginalisation with students with physical disabilities. It challenges stereotypes by increasing participation levels and raising awareness through inequality and power imbalances with students of disabilities through an active citizen approach. All right, so the game is seated Newcomb ball. The things you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need a ball, you're gonna need a net and a decent sized playing area. So this one's probably about five meters wide, maybe about eight meters long, but obviously you would change it to suit your classroom, whether you're playing it indoors or out, or how big your class is. Um, so the idea is, first of all, to split up into two equal teams and get either team on both sides of the net. Um, that would then be followed by having your students uh, sit down on the ground. Um, the idea of the game is to throw the ball back and forth over the net, trying to make the other team either drop the ball or find a free space on the floor uh, to receive a point. Alright, so this would be the general setup of the game. Obviously, we split into two equal teams um, on either side of the net. Um, the grass is a bit wet today, so we're just going to have some people hovering rather than sitting. So the game would start with a service from the back, as such. So that is when the point would come to a conclusion and either it would be a change of service or if they had the service it would be a point so because we had the service that would have been our point. To keep the students engaged and interested in the game there are many modifications that can be used such as increasing the size of the court, making it smaller, even lowering or heightening the net or changing the equipment such as the ball to bigger or even smaller. Another modification could be having the students catch or throw the ball with different hands so one turner might be left and then the other right. Another modification may be having a three pass rule before they can throw it over the net. This will make the game more inclusive by participating all students. And the last modification uh, to include another physical disability uh, such as sight impairment uh, we might actually replace the ball with one that has a bell inside it to include all students. We believe our game will be engaging and stimulating for all students whilst also meeting numerous syllabus stop points in the PDHP syllabus. We hope you enjoy our game.